Hello, welcome everyone. I wanted to go over week four's assignment called Modern Art with Polygons Reflection. So if you open it up, you get this assignment with these questions. And so each of these questions refer to a specific um, projects that they give you to load into your account. So this starts here on, this is page one. So you can either click on the link in the assignment or the link in the assignment here. So everywhere you see, you so on page one, there's nothing to be loaded, but on page two, there's one, two things to load into your account. And then page, page three, which page three here, that will load into your account. Every time you load something into your account, you have to make care or be careful that um, sometimes it logs you out. So make sure that you might have to be aware that you'll have to log in several times to be able to save any changes you make to these. The warm up from this lesson was like so. So what does the left set of control blocks do? How do you know? And what do you think the purpose of the right is? So think about it for a second and I'll go over it. Okay, so anywhere here we have something from that has to do with pen. The pen blocks mean that upon putting the pen down on the screen, that the movement of the sprite would then cause uh, writing to show on the canvas. So because it goes four times and 100 steps and changes by 90 degrees each time, this one will make a square. And this set of blocks over here has to do with clearing that, changing the pen color and changing the size and putting the, the sprite back at zero, zero or the origin. So we're assuming that zero, zero is the origin. That is the middle of the screen. So here is vocabulary, including algorithm and pseudocode. So remember, you can see these items in the materials page like right here. And so the last, yeah, so that was the notes that I was able to go with with period five, but maybe period six might be useful for you to look at this ahead of time. This will be due on Wednesday night. So I'll be able to go over it with period six again, but period five will have moved on. So let's look at this. So this is how do you make, like, how would you make a rectangle? Why is it? Test it. Why and how do you change this to get five branches, eight branches, and 10 branches? There is some relationship with repeat and turn that I want you to be aware of. Here, angles and experiments, right? So this is from a different set of code, right? Than angle experiments one. And in pages three to four, they give you something called pinwheel, right? So let me load one of them. So pinwheel looks like this. You're going to use this code, right? You'll need five copies of the script. So if I made, if I wanted to make a copy, I'm right clicking and pushing on duplicate, right? So I made three so far. So eventually you're going to make a control block that has the inputs of branches, which in this shows you step by step how to do it. And then eventually on the next page, on page four, which is be the one you'll turn in, you're eventually going to be adding size and backup. Right, so this pinwheel branches size and backup is exactly the one that I'm expected to be able to turn in here. And remember, when sharing your item, so right, so I, have to, I want to make sure that I'm logged in, right? So this shows me as not being logged in because it logged me out because I opened up a new thing, right? So I'm going to log in real fast and hopefully I can log in. And so if I wanted to share this with me or with anyone, right? So pinwheel exists, right? And so because I have this pinwheel, I'm going to make, I'm going to rename this pinwheel too. So I'm going to go in, go to save as, you see where it says pinwheel, right? I'm going to make this pinwheel too, and then save. Okay. And then I'm going to open it up again here and see how pinwheel too, if I can find pinwheel too here when I open it is not uh, bold. So that means to be able to share it, I would go back into open, go to pinwheel two, and then click on share. 
And then this ends in snap.html, but as soon as I share it, it now has your username and the project name here. So now this is the shareable link that you would put in number six. If you have any questions at any of your assignments, please let me know and contact me on Schoology. Good luck.